Hi guys, it's Kamani. So today I'm gonna do a review, an in-depth review on the Sony WH-100XM freeze. Also, please remember to like and subscribe. I know last episode, well, last video, I said that I don't really care if you like or subscribe, but yeah, I know I should have said that if I wanted to grow my channel. So first of all, with these headphones, Duh. I'm gonna say three pros and three cons just to sum up this video. Okay, so my my first pro, um, pro is the battery life. So in this one week that I've had these headphones, I've only had to charge them twice, and right now they're at sixty percent. So that that's literally amazing compared to like any other headphones, right? Like right now, like apart from the XM fours, but yeah. So. The battery life is amazing it's like it lasts a long time and even when it gets slow it doesn't have that like annoying beeping sound when it goes beep 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 it's not like that so my second pro it's very comfortable so let's say i'm in online lessons for like most of the day very comfortable it's not like i don't get pains in my ear like let's say if i'm using airpods or something i would always have to like take it off for a little bit but with these headphones, no, I don't have to do that. I just leave them on my head. No trouble at all. I don't feel like a pain that I need to take it off. Very soft as well. Yeah, it's just amazing. Like, it's really great. Okay, and my third pro, it's very easy to connect. So, right now, I'm using these headphones on two devices. I'm using them on my Apple tablet and my Apple phone. Basically, it's easy to connect, um, disconnect to one and then connect to the other one. Well, on certain occasions, or most occasions, yes, yeah, simple, but sometimes I just need to um, turn off Bluetooth on one device, it's really annoying. But typically, yes, yeah, simple, like, well, I've only had it for one week, so th that's just my personal view, but maybe I'm not doing something. But there's also apps that might make it easier, but I haven't installed it so let's move on to cons now my first con is the touch bar i'll be comfortable just laying down or sitting down or sand and then i accidentally like touch the touch bar and just changes the youtube video or something and i'm like what is like it's not no ghost touch so it's like it's me uh, touching it but it's very sensitive it's like i'm so glad it's not no random ghost touch that's randomly um changing my music or uh, turning upward down the volume but yes yeah, very sensitive so you need to be careful when you're touching the right ear cup it's basically if you want to change your music it's right and then to change the track is it's like it's very it's very fidgety or whatever but the only thing i clearly remember is that when you cover it it's like it it makes you hear so let's say your music is very loud you just cover it and it makes you hear. So my second con is that, well, this isn't really a bad thing. Like, it didn't say it was going to typically have this. But I was just, like, assuming it would be nice to have it because it's Sony and the PlayStation 4 is Sony. So I, tip, I just assumed that it was going to work on a PlayStation mic. I don't know why I thought that, but it was like, oh, okay. It, it might just work because they're both Sony brands, but it doesn't. And that, that was, like, kind of disheartening. Well, but it is what it is. It didn't say it was going to do it. It just would have been something nice to include. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so my third con is... um When I'm laying down, it's very uncomfortable. So let's say I'm going like this, and it's, like, it's pushing against my ear. It's not very comfortable at all. Like... Is yeah, I wouldn't recommend laying down with these headphones, and even though like, for me, I wouldn't trust myself with it also because I just don't want to break it. So I didn't want to really try anything else. So like, just some like something that didn't really go into pros or cons is just some honorable mentions, I guess. Is that it's just very high quality, like compared to like if I oh. Yes, let me, let me track, track back. The fingerprints, there's no fingerprints on this. You see the, see the marks? Well, you can't see it because of the bad camera quality. But yeah, it's it, it doesn't attract fingerprints at all. So it's like that 
that is something that I'm very impressed with. Like usually with um like plastic like this, you get fingerprints everywhere. But with this, mm -mm. easy to clean, wipe off because of the plastic. It doesn't really get dirty. Um, yeah. So now back to honorable mentions. Um, if if your mic, if your if you accidentally put it on the wrong ear, the audio quality turns rubbish so if you're having poor audio problems it's probably because you're putting it the wrong way around and yeah i experienced that once yeah yeah i'm very sad about that but um nevertheless it's still a great pair of headphones i would recommend it for the price also because it's like i think two years old now so it's like it's not, there's no point really getting the XM4s right now because you're paying such a high price for something that's, it's not really, not really worth it. I guess you get other capabilities, but it's like, it's not really worth it. Well, that's just my honest review. It's been Mr. K. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, that's it.